Guys, it simply cannot be a coincidence that the statistically most optimal IEM in the world, according to our data, is Moondrop's most expensive IEM, the Solus 2. Using the same predicted preference algorithm Harman used for in-ear headphones except extended up to 15 kilohertz, we calculated the statistically most optimal IEMs versus the PECDB IE target as well as versus the mean IEM EQ'd magnitude response. And in that case, the Moondrop Blessing 3 is the highest scoring IEM. So it really just cannot be a coincidence that Moondrop clearly knows what they're doing. And it's just comical. The Solus 2 measures so well. And if we look at the Blessing 3 versus the Peck DBI target, it looks more jagged in the highs, yes. But if we instead compare it to the mean IEM EQ'd magnitude response, it starts to look virtually flawless. So, I mean, clearly Moondrop is the best IEM company in the world. The <laughs> Solus 2 and Blessing 3 are the best IEMs in the world according to our data collected on thousands upon thousands of listeners and and you really cannot say it's a coincidence that Moondrop's most expensive IEM just manages to perfectly comply with what the data says is best. And I don't know if they use some AI algorithm like what we did, but I do know they have a VDSF target, which was created by like using Genelec studio monitors in an ideal room and like measuring the head-related transfer function. The VDS of target they use is lacking in the base compared to our target, and the Solus 2 and Blessing 3 have more base than the VDS of target, so even Moondrop knows that the VDS of target has too little base, which is interesting, and just clearly goes to show that there is clear validation of our work by the best company in Chi-Fi, and I think this is clearly a positive, and yeah, so... If you want the best IM in the world versus the Peck DBI target, the Moondrop Solus 2, there you go. If you want the best IM in the world versus the mean IM EQ'd magnitude response, the Moondrop Blessing 3, there you go. And in a close second versus the mean IM EQ'd magnitude response is the Tangsu 1 NV, which is a two dynamic driver IM, so it won't have as good treble as the Blessing 3 or Solus 2, but it is under $100, so honestly, if you just want the best IM with no EQ under $100, the Tangsu One NV. There you go, and you're done. And yeah, I mean, this is just crazy. And moving on to over years with the computation extended to 15 kilohertz as well, the Dyson Zone with the enhanced EQ is the statistically most optimal headphone in the world. And this is really just absurd, I think, that Dyson Zone, like the most controversial headphone ever for its like air purifier design, actually sounds amazing with the enhanced EQ and we have literally the statistically most robust data in the world, and it proves all of these things as fact. When only using the model up to 10 kilohertz, the Dan Clark E3 score is the best, and this was one of the most highly renowned headphones. So clearly audio has been completely solved by Peck DB. You don't need to try headphones at all anymore. Just look at what is calculated to be the best by Peck DB and get that and you're done. I mean, maybe there's like some slight subjective differences in comfort and like tactility and soundstage and these things, but if you are not using EQ, that is, this list is extremely good. If you're using EQ, this is a different um, discussion, but I guess we'll talk about that later. Regardless, the point of this video is if you want the best IMs in the world without EQ, get the Moondrop Blessing 3 or the Moondrop Solus 2. If you want the best over ears in the world without EQ, get the Dan Clark E3 or the Dyson Zone. And I guess the Dyson Zone, you technically have to select a different EQ preset, but you get my point. You don't have to use some external parametric equalization software. It's pretty simple. And yeah, thanks for watching.